Hi everyone, welcome back to the workshop and today I've got a Fluke 73 repair. I was told that it was possibly faulty uh, but I've got no other information other than that. So it's got a battery in it and if I just uh, turn the switch here it does turn on VAC, VDC yeah, ohms yeah, the switch seems to be okay, and the switch feels okay, but uh, apparently it's got a problem. So let's uh, go around the inputs and see what we can find. So I've got my PDVS2 Mini set to 1 volt, so we'll go to VDC and let's just see what we get. And it's reading low. And it doesn't appear to be very stable either. Is it the switch? Push it in and out. No, I don't think it's the switch. Well, how about the current inputs? Let's stick it on my current source and see what it does. Okay, I've got it hooked up to the current source. I've set 10 milliamps output, so let's just put it on, see what we get. That's not too bad. 9.94. Let's try upping it. 50. Yeah, it's not too bad. And we'll try 1. So it looks like just the voltage mode uh, has got a problem at the moment anyway. Okay, let's tear it apart and see what we can find. And inside, it looks pretty clean to tell you the truth. The switch doesn't look too bad. There's no visible uh, evidence of a problem. So let's take the board out and take a look at the other side. And the back of the board doesn't look too bad either. Well, down here it looks like we've got some flux or something uh, down on those two banana sockets there. Uh, perhaps somebody's been in here before and had a go. Or... I wonder if um, some goo ended up going down inside here from a spillage or something like that and ended up at the other side. Anyway, let's hook it up again and see how we go. I've got one volt from a PDVS2 Mini again, so let's just see what we get. Yeah, still, still reading low and kind of jumping all over the place. I'm not sure... Have we got some kind of dodgy joint or something? Or oh, wait a minute. Should I saw that go up? Ah, look at that! One volt. Back down again. Lean it over at the left, one volt. We've got a dodgy connection down on this banana. And that's that uh, mess there. I think this board could probably do with a clean-up and perhaps a re-solder on those bananas. Um, and I'll try and get down inside it as well. Okay, some tools of the trade. Got some isopropyl alcohol. Got some acetone if I need it and some cotton buds. So first things first, I'm going to try and clear out the insides of those bananas. There we go. And for the other side of the board. Mm. 
including nest seeds as well. And a little splash of the air as well. Right, let's try again. PDVS2 set to 1 volt again. That's still going up and down. I think I'll have to re-solder those two bananas. Well, there's some new solder applied. Anyway, let's clean up the board and give it a try. Right, here we go again. And let's stick in my one volt. Right, now let's wiggle it around. That's better. Yes. That's it. Right, let's put it back together. Right, ready for a power up. I've got one volt here from the PDVS2 Mini, so let's just plug it in, see what we get. Yes, one volt. Let's try wiggling it around. Yes, that's it, fixed. Let's give it 10 volts. Yes. Yes, no problem. And how about a 300 millivolt scale? Well, I've got the PDVS2 Mini set to 300 millivolts now. And yes. So it was a quick repair. And thanks for watching. And remember, you can always comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Thanks for watching.